1956, the Asian town of Owo, with a rich culture of Igogo and Shokorowa down steps, came alive with the birth of a child. But little did they know that undying vision was being procreated. Oluwaro Timi Odunayo, born and bred into the famous Akridulu family of Owo by clergy, Reverend Ola Akridulu, and the mother, a proponent of gospel values, Lady Evangelist Grace Akridulu. <laughs> The young Uluwaru Timi started his primary education at Government Primary School, Owo, from where he proceeded to Aquinas College, Akure, Loyola College, Ibadan, and Comprehensive High School, Ayeturo, for his secondary school education. After his high school certificate at the Comprehensive High School, Ayeturo, Oluwaru Timi Akridulu got admitted to the famous University of Ife, now Obafemi Awolowo University, Ileife, where he studied law and obtained the LLB degree in 1976. He was called to the Nigerian Bar in 1978. Oluwaru Timi Odunwayo, whose rare ability to creatively find solutions to seemingly intractable problems around him got the appellation Akiti from his colleagues, friends, and admirers. This extraordinary virtue made him so popular among his fellow students at the University of Ife, where he was elected as a vice president of the student union for the 1975-1976 academic session. I first met him in January 1969. When he came over from Aquinas College, Akure, where he had his uh, from one, he joined us in Luela in class two. Uh, we were in Luela together from that 1969 to 72. Uh, we both left for comprehensive high school at for our HSE uh, program. Thereafter, he went to Ife. I went to UI, same year. So, my student in Luela College, in 72. We happened to meet at the University of Ife then, now Obafemi Awolowo University. It was one year ahead of me. I was in part one, I was in part two. That was when we got to know, you see, ourselves. And the relationship, even though at the time we were in school, was one of a you know, student to student relationship. But somehow, we were able to identify, you see, come on to both sides, some uh, uh, qualities and, you see, approaches to issues, which at the end of our course in the university, I would say naturally brought us together to form a partnership. Mr. Oluwaru Timia Odunayo Akridulu, a uniquely disciplined and human personality took up service to my kind, though not entirely from the dimension of his parental callings in the vineyard of God, but in character and conduct, Oluwaru Timi remained committed to the cultivated habits of the mission house where I grew up, manifesting the acquired values of a clergy son in all facets of his life. I am proud of Oluwaru Timi Odwayo Akedolu, by the grace of God, the governor of Undo State. We will continue to appreciate God for the garment of humility, impeccable, impeccable one, in which the Lord has used to clothe him. He's a man that is honest in all endeavors of life. Given the type of politics that we play in our environment, you might want to um, ascribe to all politicians as people who are not sincere 
they say white when they say black and so on but um, Akete is a professional that found himself in politics yeah, there is difference and pursuing everything he does with conscience he has not been found wanting he's fearless but also respectful and i see how he relates with the elders i mean respecting your elders here is is, is a way of life i come from a home where we have to have respect our elders so uh, that one is simple i'm, I'm a yoruba man um, um well i believe that uh, my upbringing certainly uh, leaves me with no option than to be respectful of my elders. But my, my boldness, I can say I took from my father. My father, I have it on record that he was a very bold man. And I knew myself that he was. And I knew that a couple of times he encourages me to do things with boldness. Mr. Oluaro Timi Odunayo Akledulu a senior advocate of Nigeria, later became the managing partner at the law firm of Olujimi and Akredolu, a law firm he co-founded with Chief Akin Olujimi, a former Attorney General and Minister of Justice of the Federation. Now, partnership business in law is something that is not easy to come by. You see, in Nigeria in particular, because the kind of commitment it requires, the honesty it requires, is uh, you know, lacking you see, to a great extent. But these are qualities we discovered, we both shared and still share up to today. That is why it has been possible for us, you see, over 31 years, to team together as partners without quarreling for one day. For over three decades, Mr. Akilidulu served the Nigerian Bar Association with zeal and outstanding candor in various capacities at both the branch and national levels. He was the Secretary General of Nigerian Bar Association, Ibadan Branch, 1985 to 1986. He served as a Publicity Secretary from 1988 to 1989 during the regime of the late Alao Akabashonum, a period considered as a golden era of the bar. Between 1989 and 1991, Mr. Akridulu was a member of the Legal Aid Council of Nigeria. He became the vice chairman of the Badon branch in 1991 and subsequently the chairman between 1992 and 1994. Mr. Oluaru Timi Akridulu became the Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice in Ondo State from 1997 to 1999. And during that period, he was simultaneously serving as a member of the Ondo State Judicial Service Commission, the Council of Legal Education, and a member of Body Law Ventures. His achievements as Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice in Ondo State included far reaching legal reforms which are still visible in the state judiciary till today. It is evergreen in the memory of the people of the Sunshine State that Mr. Oluaru Timi Akredulu stood on their side by resisting all attempts by the military administration under which he was serving as Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice on its decision to sell off the Araromi oil palm plantation, which was one of the legacies bequeathed to Undo State by the defunct Western Region Government. A few of us put our heads together and I said, well, don't worry, me, I will challenge Mr. Governor tomorrow, I will get there and say he cannot sell this legacy that our forebears have been, they have left for us. It is not for us now to plunder it. Despite his exit as Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice for those states in 1999, Mr. Akredulu was reappointed as a member of the Body of Benchers in 2006 and has remained a member to date. Since 1985, Mr. Oluwaro Timi Akredulu had been a member of the National Executive Council of the NBA. He equally served as the chairman of the Legal Aid Council from 2005 to 2006 
and he was conferred with the prestigious title of Senior Advocate of Nigeria in 1998. I've known him since his student days. Well, he was serving, he was, what was he? He was doing a year in the East, I mean Youth Corps. So he had heard about me and he came to my Lord Chambers and he said he had heard about me and he wanted just to convey his greeting to me. So he sat down, I spoke to him about the profession, asked what he was doing, generally giving him words of encouragement and wisdom. But when he left, I knew he had a bright future because it takes somebody with a bright future to come to really recognize the need to go and see somebody that he thought was doing well in one profession or the other. So, and I've watched him grow in the profession throughout, you know, becoming an NBA president, becoming senior advocate of Nigeria, and now governor of Ondo State. I'm so proud of him. The passion to use service to advance the cause of mankind at any level of capacity stimulated Mr. Oluwaru Timi Odunwa Yuakilidulu, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, to accept to serve the Old Boys Association of one of his secondary schools, Loyola College, Ibadan, from 1995 to 1999. And these glintering values encouraged all lawyers in Nigeria in 2008 to unanimously elect Mr. Oluwaru Timi Akridulu, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, as their president in the Nigerian Bar Association, MBA. He belongs to so many international organizations, and um, one thing you cannot take away from him is that he's always very straightforward. I prefer somebody who is straightforward than somebody who meanders a lot. He's very courageous, he's well-meaning. I entertain no doubt in my mind that his period will witness great and tremendous development and advancement for Ondo State. As the president of the Nigerian Bar Association, Mr. Oluwaru Timi Akridulu San brought himself to the consciousness of Nigerians with his uncompromising and principled stance against bad governance. Millions of Nigerians will still remember with pride the principled resistance of the MBA under Mr. Oluwaru Timi Akridulu, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, against all manners of obnoxious practices in government. The people of Ondo State who have the benefit of somebody who knows his onions, who is well traveled, who is well exposed, and uh, who will deploy the best of his talents as a lawyer, as a citizen, as a patriot, as a loyal Nigerian to bear on the office of governor of Ondo State. And he will harness all the available resources, human and material for the benefit of the people of Ondo State. Within the period of his presidency in the NBA from 2008 to 2010, Mr. Oluwaru Timi Akredo was a member of the Governor Council Nigerian Institute of Advanced Legal Studies, a member of Council of Legal Education, a member of Council International Bar Association and Pan-African Lawyers Union, and up to his election as Governor of Ondo State, he still serves as MBA representative in the National Judicial Council. Mr. Oluwaru Timi Akredulu, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, may not be in a priesthood like his father and a titled evangelist like Mama Grace Akredulu, yet his commitment and contributions to the work of God through our diocese, where he is the Chancellor and the All Saints Church, Jericho Ibadan, both in the Anglican Communion and several other exemplary services which transcend denominations but essentially, as services to populate the kingdom of God are countless testimonies to justify that he is a devoted Christian. And as a chancellor, he has impressed everybody. Everybody likes him and they like the way things are done and the way things are uh, going. And I've never seen him miss any synod. Akete is man of the people. Akete would not discriminate whether you are poor, whether you are rich, old, young, anything. 
Aketi is a man of the people. And I know, and we all know, that Aketi coming into Ondo State to become the governor is going to make a lot of changes. I know him as a builder. He's a man of progress. I know that uh, he will try his best. The venturing of Mr. Odwalu Timia Kledulu, senior advocate of Nigeria to partisan politics, is being seen as the third leg of his unparalleled services to humanity through his legal profession and the church, rather than recall to his shell being characteristic of politicians who did not realize the ambition at first shot. Mr. Olwaru Timiakri san strategically went back to the drawing board with a crack team of politicians shortly after the laws in the 2012 Ondo State Governorship election. The man Akiti persevered, he was also persistent. Since 2012, when we lost the first election in this year, we've been meeting, strategizing, we never allow time to slip away. We have our group that meet regularly to plan ahead. That's what we did that gave us the victory. As the 2016 gubernatorial election draw closer, the messages and sing songs of Akiti envelop the entire political landscape of Ondo State. To the extent that the people of the Sunshine State consciously embraced the think a new, act a new mantra. Why I came up with that initially and fundamentally was to address my colleagues or my political associates. I am convinced that the way we are going, maybe it is happening in other climes, in other countries, other areas. The thinking of we politicians or the politicians I know is weird for me. These are, are people who can sit down in a room, fabricate stories around you, and, and if you are not careful, or if you don't work hard on trying to change or trying to let people know that this is not factual, before you know, people think it's a fact. So now I feel that, look, we must think anew and act anew as politicians. We must. He has zero tolerance to rumor. So if you are coming to him, come with an open mind. Let him get the secret of what you are trying to say. Don't come and tell him something that is falsehood. If you get the genuine information, he will not like your face. And so on Saturday, September 3rd, 2016, after a rigorous accreditation of delegates and keenly contested primary, among 23 aspirants of the All Progressives Congress APC, Mr. Oluwaro Timia Kredulu, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, won the ticket to fly the party's flag at the November 2016 governorship election. In the build-up to the November 2016 governorship election in Ondo State, the usual election excitement, tension and suspense were not found wanting even to the day of the election. At the end of the election, which went down as the most peaceful, the most orderly, and rankles free, but with the largest turnout of voters in the east of Ondo State, the Independent National Electoral Commission declared Mr. Oluarotimi Odunayo, a Kredulu, Senior Advocate of Nigeria of the All Progressives Congress, APC, the winner, having defeated 27 candidates of other political parties. The Oluarotimi Odunayo Akeredolu of APC, having satisfied the requirement of the law, has scored the highest number of votes, is hereby declared the winner and is returned elected. 
Soon after, the journey to the Alagbaka government house began for Oluwaru Timiodun Ayuakridolu as governor-elect and Mr. Abuola Ayai as deputy governor-elect. I can assure you that uh, at any stage, because of this transition and beyond, Always be there. Of our advice we have. I must thank you. You have uh, sent in the, uh, and spoken to me on phone to congratulate me. And I also I must note that the candidate of PDP and I have spoken that congratulated me. And I believe that, uh, as I said, we are making history. This will be a transition that is not normal. It will be one between brothers this state and I will make sure it, it goes that way and ends that way because all we have done is to serve all we have done is to serve this state and all I want to do is to serve this state. The few decisions of Roti Miyakele Dolu have not defeated those expectations. For example, the idea that you start using public funds to celebrate his victory, he has stopped it. Which I think is um, very fundamental because I think our people are interested in a governor that is more preoccupied with the burden of his office than the badge of his office. At Arakuri, who has said that he's going to develop the rural areas, he said his concentration is going to be in the rural area and agriculture, our people will benefit. Once in a body, Mr. He isn't a noisemaker. He's a quiet worker. Highly intelligent. Fearless. Purposeful. And a man of his own. He became senior advocate of Nigeria a very long time ago. It's not all senior advocate of Nigeria that had the opportunity of being the president of Nigeria Bar Association. He was a president of the Nigeria Bar Association. Very resolute to achieve result. And that's why you will see that all along what you hear him say is that anything you contribute for the service of mankind, whatever you put into the service of your community, you can never say it is too much. So every position that the man finds himself in life is a gift of God. Uh, I feel happy for him. He has a big job to do, but nothing is impossible with God Almighty. And I will continue to pray for him. We cannot afford to fail. One day I asked him, I said, why are you saying this? He said, remember, and a woman had been governor before. And this a woman achieved. And is regarded today as, if not the greatest, at least as one of the greatest in the history of Ondo State. He too is an old woman that he cannot afford to perform less. That anything less, one, is not only diminishing his own status, it's going to diminish our war in the history of Ondo State. And that there must be no room for failure. Mr. Governor elect realized the enormity of the task ahead, and as such, did not waste time before rolling up his leaves so as to effectively put his hands on the plow. During the campaign, he had promised on five cardinal programs, which are job creation through agriculture, entrepreneurship, and industrialization, massive infrastructural development and maintenance, promotion of functional education and technological growth provision of accessible and qualitative healthcare and social services delivery, and rural development and community extension services. Agriculture is one of the mainstays of the economy. Now that the oil has failed us, and uh, you know the successful government after Awolowo has not paid much, uh, what we call it, efforts to agriculture. Now that the incoming government is saying is number one cardinal point of his program, we appreciate him. There must be a way in which we are going to create job, employment, even entrepreneurship, in which 
the, you become your own employer. So that's why the major, the cardinal point, the major one in our five cardinal program is job creation. We have said so. We said true agriculture, entrepreneurship, technology. You know, so we, we, are, we, are, we are not limiting it to agriculture alone. And we know that in Nigeria today, we must go back to basic. We must go back to land. The soap boss rhetoric is gone. It is time for the business of governance and with the quality of mandate given to the man Akiti, nothing but the best of service is good for the people of Ondo State. It began with drawing up strategic pathways to advance the course of good governance in Ondo State by setting up three committees. Strategic Development and Policy Implementation Committee, Transition Committee, and Inauguration Ceremonies Committee. His own approach to governance and uh, the way he's starting is uh, really unique and uh, uh, I pray to God that it goes well because he started in a way that one can see that ah, this, this is a new thing. As Arakuni Oluwaro Timi, Odwan Yuakredolu, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, takes charge of the reign of governance, as the sixth executive governor of Ondo State, his experience, accolades, and awards from home and abroad are the credible impetus needed to launch out this legal giant in his service to Ondo State. Hi, Oluwaro Timi, Odwan Yuakredolu. Senior Advocate of Nigeria, do solemnly swear. Arakuni Roti Makeridolu is a credible and liberal leader. He doesn't have to know you for 100 years before he trusts you. Once you can convince him, he gives trust. I want to assure you that nothing, nothing will divide us. Now, it is a refreshing dawn in Ondo State, whereby the commitment of all citizens will be required for the task of geometrically scaling up performance indices of the Sunshine State across all sectors for the comfort and well-being of its people. So I pray for Odwayo, Rotimi, Akredolu, that he will succeed, and the Lord himself will strengthen him, and so shall it be, in Jesus' mighty name. All hail Akiti the man of the people. <laughs>